Hello everybody, it's time for crafting with Mr. Butch. Today, I decided I would teach you how to make an origami crane or flapping bird. I'm going to show you two different types and let you choose. After we talk about something, I will also have a picture, a still picture, following it so that you can understand what I'm talking about. Now you may use two different types of paper. You can use origami paper, which I have here, which is normally colored on one side and no color on the back side. You can also use regular copy paper as long as it's about 20 pound paper, which is just regular copy paper. But to do any origami we're doing today, you will need a square piece. When you buy origami paper, it comes automatically square like this. If you want to take this piece and make it into a square, you fold this piece of paper like this. You take it, you bring this corner down to here. Now you've got to get rid of the bit here. I fold it over and crease it extremely well. So I have folded that piece over and I have creased it. Now I'm going to fold it back the other way to make sure that my crease is real good. And then I am going to tear this piece off. Now we have a square. So you can make your own square. Don't rush out and buy origami paper unless you just want to but you can make your own. And in doing this, you also have one of your first folds. The first thing I'm gonna teach you how to do is called the bird base. Many pieces of origami start with that particular piece. So we're gonna start with the bird base. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to fold it in half. So you've got a triangle. All right. When we come back, I'm going to have the camera moved so that you can't see me, but you can see my hand so that hopefully you will understand what I'm doing and talking about. So I'll be back in a minute. All right, I'm back. And here we go. I've moved the camera. I'm going to try to hold it up here because now this is the second time I've done this because the first time I was holding things up you couldn't see. So we have got our square that we have started with. Now you should have one end that's sort of open and one end that is closed. So what we're going to do now with the open in facing you, we're going to fold in to the middle like we're making a paper airplane. Let's do that again. Just the top layers. And then we do the same thing on that side. So now if you look at it, you sort of have a kite shape. Let's turn it over, and we're going to do the same thing again, folding to the middle and folding to the middle. Now, we really have our kite shape. There's two more things to do, and we will have our bird base. 
What we need to do is we need to fold the top triangle like this down on this side. We turn it around and we fold it. Basically, all we're doing is making a crease at the top. The next part some people consider some of the hardest part of the bird base because what we're going to do is we're going to take, move, hold these out, take the only the top layer, bring it up to the fold at the top, and then we put these to the inside, we fold them. And now we have something on this side that looks like this. Let me do that again, just to make sure you understand what I'm saying. We started like this, open this up, take this point, bring it up, fold these to the inside, and you have a very long diamond shape, like this. Turn it over, open these up again, taking this point, folding at the top where we had the triangle, and putting these on the inside. You now have your bird base. You should have two pieces like this and one like this and this. We now only have a couple of more folds and we'll have our flapping bird. We take one side like this, making sure that the inside part comes all the way up, but leaving the other part down a little bit. So let me do that again. We fold this up like this so that you've got enough to grab right here. And you do the same thing on the other side. And we're going to do that with this side also. And let's turn it back over and fold it on this side. And now it looks like this. This is going to be my tail. This is going to be my head. So we push them both back down like this. We turn it and we bring this back up into the middle and we fold it on those lines that we just made like that and do it again. Okay, we fold it this way, we fold it that way. We turn it to the side, we open it up, and we bring that to the inside. We do the exact same thing on the other side. So that now it looks like this. Maybe it looks like a hat. Oh, oh, oh. okay, for my foolishness. All right, now you've got your two pieces you can hold on to. I said that this was going to be my head. So you do the folding again. We fold it like that. And we fold it like that. And then we open it up and fold it.
to the inside and we have our head. Push your wings down, grab here and here, and you have your flapping bird. All right, so flapping bird. There are our flapping birds. What we're going to do next is we're going to do the bird that you can blow up the inside of right there. And of course we need another bird base, but I'm not going to make you watch me do another bird base. However, I will have a diagram on this presentation, which you can pause at at any time. So I will be back in a minute. All right, moving these out of the way for a minute. Here's another bird base. I told you I wasn't going to make you watch me do another one, but we're starting the same with the same bird base. And remember, we were almost finished with our flapping birds when we had gotten to this point, and really we're almost finished with the bird that we blow up also. This time, we have to make another fold on each side. We're going to take one layer here, and we're going to fold it to the middle once again like we're making a paper airplane. Let me turn it so I can actually feel what I'm see what I'm doing better. All right. See what we did? We folded one layer in. I'm going to turn it around and do the same thing again. Flip it over. So that we're doing this end also and this end also. So now we have a very tall diamond this time. And instead of folding them up like this, like we did last time, we're going to open up and pull the whole thing through and fold it over. Let me do that again. We're going to take it. Here's our new bird base. Turn to the side, pull this up through so that it is actually even at the bottom. There's nothing for us to grab onto like we did with the other one. We're going to do the same thing with the other side. I'm trying to make sure my part of it's going to be real straight here. All right, so we've taken our long pieces and folded them up to the inside. Notice we don't have the two pieces sticking out. They're almost sticking straight out up at the top which is the way we want it. All right, once again, we decide and we just fold it down to make our head, like so. We then pull out our wings and we might pull a little bit and then there's a little tiny hole right here. We are now going to blow and pull gently. Look at there. And now we have our other bird. So we have the bird with the blown up body and our flapping bird. I hope you've enjoyed making origami with Mr. Butch. I will have the directions for both the flapping and non-flapping bird as soon as this presentation is over. And remember, you can pause it at any time you want to so that you can see the directions if 
what I said was not clear to you. Take care.